everyone and welcome to today's video on volume and capacity. This grade 5 overview is designed to help you study for the upcoming test that you're going to have this week. One of the biggest problems that students have in terms of uh, volume and capacity is understanding the difference uh, and similarities between volume and capacity. They are two different things. However, sometimes in textbooks, it's unclear what the difference is. So that's what we're going to start with today. Let's take uh, this three-dimensional shape, okay? It's made of linking cubes. Um, and the first thing I want to look at is volume. Volume is measured in centimeters cubed, okay? And what that is, is essentially measuring the amount of space that this object takes up in all three dimensions. So it's important to remember that. The other uh, unit that we're going to be looking at is the Canadian unit of uh, fluids. So we're going to look at specifically at liters and milliliters. And we use those to measure capacity. Capacity is measuring uh, how much fluid can go inside of a container. The reason we measure capacity with fluid is because if you remember your particle theory of matter in science, fluids always take the shape of their container. If you tried to fill it with solids, there might be spaces that are left empty. So if we take this uh, container that I filled with pencil shavings, uh, again, we would measure the capacity, in other words, the inside of this shape in liters or milliliters. Okay, so for grade 5 and grade 6, it's important that you understand how to calculate volume. Capacity, not so much. You can estimate using benchmarks that are on already measured containers. So, for volume, three-dimensional shapes are what you're going to be using to calculate volume. So let's take this three-dimensional shape again. What you're going to do is you're going to measure the length, the width, and the height. So you want to have your base. So if we establish that the, rectangle, the small rectangular side is the base. On the top, we can simply just measure how many centimeters across is the length, how many centimeters down is the width, and then how many centimeters from top to bottom, that's going to be the height. And we multiply them all together. So the, vo the volume formula is length times width times height. And whatever that answer gives you, you have to make sure that you note that in centimeters cubed. 